Get a Theresa May will meet Donald Tusk. The Prime Minister will deliver a long-awaited speech setting out her vision for Britain's future relationship with the European Union on March 2. Yesterday, she cleared the way for the speech by securing agreement from senior ministers at a Brexit war cabinet at Chequers on key features of the future relationship. And it has now been revealed Theresa May will hold facet face talks with Mr Tusk, the President of the European Council, on March 1. According to the Council, the meeting will take place at 12.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. In London, unlike previous keynote Brexit addresses in Florence and Munich, the Prime Minister's speech is expected to take place in the UK, though Downing Street refused to discuss the venue. Mrs May is expected to speak to the Scottish Conservative Conference in Aberdeen, which takes place from March 2 to 3, but it is not known whether she intends to use this as the venue for her Brexit speech. Her official spokesman characterised the 8th hour Chequers meeting as very positive and a step forward, agreeing the basis of the Prime Minister's speech on our future relationship. The meeting's conclusions will be discussed at by the full cabinet. Ahead of Mrs May's speech and her meeting with Mr Tusk probably at its regular Downing Street meeting. On Tuesday, Gettums May is due to outline her Brexit Division Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt who was not at the Cabinet meeting yesterday said the government will pursue a policy putting Britain outside a customs union with the European Union but matching Brussels rules in certain sectors in an attempt to achieve frictionless trade. The policy puts Mrs May on a collision course with Tory Brexit rebels who are backing an amendment to the trade bill which would mandate the UK to form a customs union with Brussels on leaving the EU, and Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn is widely predicted to give his blessing to a customs union arrangement with the EU in his own speech on Monday, in which he is expected to give greater clarity on his party's Brexit policy. Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornberry said Labour now backs a customs union which would look pretty much like the current one after withdrawal. Getith Cabinet met to discuss Brexit. Emma Hunt said the Brexit subcommittee agreed that Britain must not be part of a customs union as it should have the right to strike free trade deals with other countries, and claimed frictionless trade was still possible without one. He told BBC Radio 4's Today programme Customs Union is one way of getting frictionless trade but it's not the only way, and what we're saying is we want to achieve frictionless trade by agreement between two sovereign bodies the United Kingdom and European Union. He added you have divergent views on a big issue like Brexit, as you would expect, but the central common understanding is that there will be areas and sectors of industry where we agree to align our regulations with European regulations. The automotive industry is perhaps an obvious example because of supply chains that are integrated, but it will be on a voluntary basis, we will as a sovereign power have the right to choose to diverge, and what we want be doing is accepting changes in rules because the EU unilaterally chooses to make those changes.